before we go into the actual video, I just want to apologise for the sound quality. I made this video in a little bit of a rush in response to a question I got on my Facebook group yesterday. Um, so I didn't have a chance to wait for nice weather and it was actually raining and quite windy. And when it's windy, the microphone on my camera just gets quite badly distorted. So I hope you can hear me okay, but I just wanted to apologise and not to have anybody think that I thought that was okay, because I know it's not, but there isn't really much I can do. This video was just made in a little bit of a rush. Hi, welcome to Rare Basic Toddlers. In the last few days I've had a few messages from people asking whether or not the Avionaut Pixel Pro can be well fitted in an older Ford Focus. Ford Focuses from around about 2005 to 2010 are known for having quite short seatbelts and that can make it difficult to wrap the seatbelt all the way around the back of a belt fitted infant carrier. So I've brought these three car seats along, the Pixel Pro as well as the Britax Baby Safe Core and the Be Safe Easy Go just to see how they compare to the Pixel. I did just try the Pixel Pro already just to see if it would work and it didn't. It will do and I will show you how in a minute but I just thought I would try this one first which is the smallest of these three car seats. So I have already discovered that if you plug the seatbelt in first you will then struggle to wrap the diagonal belt around the back. I think if you lean the seat forward a little bit, it just about goes in. So this one can actually be fitted in one go, but I don't expect the same for the other two. So this is the Britax Baby Safe Core, and this one is actually quite a lot longer in the shell than the Be Safe Easy Go is. So I don't think it's going to work with this one, but I'm going to try it. So seat belt goes across under the hooks, into the buckle, I'm going to push the seat right into the car and see if I can wrap the belt around the back and it's a no. So the solution to that, as always, is to unplug the seat belt, wrap the belt around the back, um, sorry, the hood's in the way slightly, put the belt through the clip in the back and then see if you can push it in just enough to get the buckle done up and you can. So that one a little bit more tricky than the Be Safe Easy Go, but I can get the Britax Be Safe Core, I'm um, sorry, Britax Baby Safe Core belted in fairly easily. So up next is the Avionaut Pixel Pro. So the Pixel isn't actually that much bigger than the other two car seats, but I think the issue is the height here. The seatbelt has to travel a bit further and that's what uses up most of its length. So just going to take the lap belt across, put it into the green hooks and then buckle it in. Push the seat right into the back of the car and it's not going to go. So I'm going to unbuckle it again to give it that little bit of extra length that I need to get it into the belt hook on the back. And then coming back to it, it's still going to be a little bit difficult, but if I give it a good push with my body weight, I can just about get it in. There it is. So it can be done. It's just not the easiest, but you know, I think if you did do this day to day, you would get used to it. It's definitely possible. And I'm just interrupting myself briefly just to say I noticed when I was editing the video that I forgot to put the carry handle on the Pixel Pro in the correct position because in the previous two car seats it has to go upright and in the rush of this video and the fact that it was raining and everything I forgot to put the Pixels one in its correct position but it actually has to go all the way forward over the baby's feet. So I've taken a picture just to show you how it should go and just bear in mind that this video was only done to show the belt length and how to get around the, the Ford Focus's short belts, but please ignore the carry handle position in the actual video because it should look as it does in this photograph. Another thing I found out today, I was speaking to somebody, I know that Ford Focuses that don't have Isofix do have the option of having it retrofitted and apparently it's only £75 to have that done. So if you don't have Isofix in your Focus, you find the short belts annoying and you want to get Isofix fitted so that you can use this car seat on a base, that is an option. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.